What it does is it gives our patrol officers that are on the streets every single day a basic understanding of how to respond to an active shooter event. Across the nation, law enforcement needs to have a standardization and training and a basic tools uh, set to be able to respond to active shooter events. By teaching our Marines how law enforcement responds and how they could potentially respond when they're being armed guards within their HTCs, it gives them that tool set needed to eliminate any threats or potential activities that happens in their HTCs. These courses are actually designed for law enforcement and law enforcement officers, not so much the DOD. We're seeing a lot more where we're trying to incorporate the DOD into these classes uh, to provide some integration and training and baseline across the board. The Active Shooter Level 1 course is a 16-hour course, uh, with the first day being practical application and PowerPoint presentations, and the second day entirely focused on simulation training that highlights the day one activities and puts it into play. So the sim rounds uh, provide a realistic uh, realism to the training in itself. There's nothing like getting tagged with a sim and knowing whether that the training that you utilized worked or it did not work. I hope that anybody that learns what we're providing to them never has to go out and implement this uh, while they're out on patrol or while they're here in an HTC. But we can't rely on the never. We have to be prepared every single day. So if one of the students that have received this training uh, is faced in that situation, I hope that they go back to what they learn and are able to implement it and it hopefully it takes them home at the end of the day and helps save lives. <laughs>